Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I know. Some of y'all going to say, well, damn, you're up early. Hell yeah. This ain't nothing. Usually I'm up at 4.30, man. And right now it's what, six something? Psh, this ain't nothing. I just decided just to lay in bed today and get my rest and, and chill. But there was a subject I want to talk to y'all about that a lot of fellas, especially my homeboy, has been talking to me about lately. And I just, I just feel it's finally time to address. I mean, I get asked it all the damn time. And <laughs> I, I, I'm just going to share my experience. The question is, they will say, yo, big homie, I'm on this healing journey to get good with myself, to finally get rid of some of this childhood trauma. Any advice? From my perspective, you're doing the damn thing right now. Yes, I know, folks. I, it's dark I'm in bed still, and the light that you see is probably from the damn TV, whatever. You can still listen to me. <laughs> You're doing the damn work right now. To all my homies, to any of the fellas out there who are doing the damn work to heal past traumas, childhood trauma, any kind of trauma, good job. There's a stigma about men who have traumas, who try to heal it, and... You know, we're, we're seen as broken and they're not being man and they're being weak and shit like that. Where, where the opposite is true of women. If women are getting help, you know, oh, she is so strong. She's doing her best. That's good. Good for fucking you. For the fellas, though, it's a lot different. In my experience, it started a couple years ago when I just really did something stupid. And me and my son got into a fight. It got so bad, we didn't hit each other. We didn't hit each other. We came close. Actually, we came close more to stabbing each other. I realized what I was doing. And the only way that I knew I was going to stop is I called the police on myself. And that led to a whole bunch of things happening. Had to go to a domestic violence class. And I really felt that helped. Because it helped me look at some of the traumas that was that were going on. Some of the shit that, that carried over from childhood on how to deal, just how to deal with people. And my, my experience is always dealing with people violently. That's, that's just how it was. I was never taught a way to handle situations differently. Even though I, even though over the years I tried my best to try to self heal and and not look at everything in a violent way, I would look at you know videos and talk to people and hear hearing what they had to say. But I know some of y'all gonna say, "Oh, that's but this that's that's fucked up. That's racist." The only ones who would ever I knew who were talking about it were white folks. Never any blacks or Mexicans or natives or any people of color during that time when I was on this healing journey to try to figure out how to handle things differently it, they just weren't around and if they were around especially here in flagstaff here in flagstaff there's certain black people there's 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 black people yes there's some but there's them and then there's us i'm part of us no 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 no, how, no I, i'm sorry i got that wrong there's them and there's us i'm i'm one of them one of the people who are not supposed to make it the ones who one of the people who you know, I caused I caused a lot of trouble. I also backed up a lot of people back then who are now well to do within so called flags F higher black society and they're doing their damn thing, but they don't remember who took the bullet for all their asses, but that's neither here nor there. But that does have a lot to do with how I dealt with trauma. To me that was traumatic because here I thought we we're supposed to be friends and everything, and now they act like they don't even know me. I have issues of abandonment. A lot of men out there have issues of abandonment, physical abuse in family, uh, self-love. So it all ties together. What I'm trying to say is get the help that you need. If you're identifying firsthand what that problem is, hell, you are a step above every other man out there who wants to heal and deal with their shit. Yes, you're going to hear from different people. Oh, you don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do that. You know, how you heal is up to you. Okay. How you heal, how your healing journey depends on what you want to heal. You know, I got people telling me right now, I think it's, you know, I think it's a good idea to talk to a counselor. Maybe you know, sometimes it is. 
I'm not gonna lie, I've took their advice and I've talked to some counselors, but at the same time, you know, it's up to you. If you want to get a bunch of self-help books and, and do it like that, that's fine. Meditation helps. Ser oh, meditation is beautiful. Uh, there's nothing like sitting still for a little bit and dealing, just, just feeling your shit, getting in your shit, dealing with it. Shadow work is hard, okay? And I've said it before, shadow work ain't nothing but the unloved part, the nothing but the unloved parts of yourself that need love and attention. A lot of a lot of my homies say, well, sometimes, man, I'll be out the corner of my eye. It feels like it looks like I'm seeing shadows and shit like jumping around. That's your shadows trying to get your attention. That's all it is, man. Don't be afraid. And acknowledge them. Tell them, hey, you know what's up? I I every morning I tell them what's going on, y'all. And everything is calm. Can there be such thing as too much toxic positivity? Those people who want to just live in positive light all the time. I mean, hey, everything is choice. Everything is choice. But remember, those people who want to live in toxic positivity, when the bad shit comes, watch what happens. Not that I hope it. Not that I hope it comes wrong to them, but how are you going to deal with with the with the with the dark if you don't if you don't learn to deal with it all the time? See, there's two sides of us, yin and yang, and it all seeks balance. And sometimes it's going to be out of balance. It will be out of balance, so you can learn to deal with it. And many of you are right now, a lot of my homies, you're going through that unbalance right now, where you want balance. Sometimes it's better. To deal with that shit now while it's unbalanced. That way you can get a semblance of balance. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Everyone says, oh, do moderation. Live this, live that. But you know what? That's a lot of goddamn people who are not doing the work. And those are the people you should not be listening to. Yeah, I'm saying it right now. I don't give a fuck who listens to this. Because you know some of those people are like, oh, I know you're talking about me. Yes, I'm talking about your asses. The people who refuse to do the work, the people who got a piece of information or or knowledge for everyone, but you refuse to do the work your damn self. So, fellas, continue to do the work. Seek help if you need it. It's okay to talk to a counselor. It's okay to help them unpack the bullshit that's in your life to make you act, to make you see, you know, hey, why am I acting like this? And where did this start from? Unpack it. Deal with it. Hey. If, if for those fellas out there who are doing the damn thing, for anyone out there who's doing the damn thing, I'm proud of you because it is hard. Healing is fucking hard. It's a it's a solo journey. It really is. If you're married or if you got a boyfriend or a girlfriend, hey, you know what? They can be there. And if they love and support you through all this, man, shit. No props to them because that takes a different strength that takes a whole entirely different different mindset to help someone through their healing journey but for those who are helping people through their healing journey don't sit there and try to tell them what to do and if you're trying to tell them what to do though if they start resenting you it's because you're not trying to do the work either see it goes both ways if you are someone who's trying to heal because you want to be a better person for someone else stop Stop right now. Don't do it. Because when that person, you hear, because here, here's another part of trauma. If you start, if you're healing because of someone else, if you're healing because, you know, you want to be a better person for him or her or whatever, don't do it because you're, you have expectations. No expectations. When it comes to your healing journey, no expectations. You're doing this for you and only you. The person who's looking at, that you're looking at the mirror, that's all that matters because the person who is looking at you from the mirror needs you, not your boyfriend, not your girlfriend, not anybody, nobody but you. So please heal for you. It's okay. Big Daddy got you. I am so proud of all those who have texted me about that lately, sent me messages, say, hey, we'll, we'll speak on, speak on self-healing. I'm speaking on it. Fellas, do the damn work. Do the do, you know, you know, you know, you know what's going on, man. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so damn proud. If no one has telling you, I'm fucking proud of you. It, it, it is hard. 
we got this we do got the stigma of you know oh you're you know he ain't shit he's broken man he he's this he's that and the the people who were mostly hearing it from is women fuck them women actually no don't fuck them women fuck them females as i've learned lately there's a difference between the female and the and the woman energy Woman energy all day. Women, I love you. Mwah. Fellas, you should love them too, but that's a whole different discussion. Sorry. This whole talk to- this whole toxic masculinity shit, you know, that that was started by a woman. Why? Because women have more toxic masculinity and en- energy in them. I was raised by all women. So I have a lot of toxic masculinity energy in me because I was always told, quit crying, quit being a sissy, quit this, quit that. They don't know how traumatic that is. I, I know, and I didn't realize over the years as I started as I started this, this healing journey, how 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 traumatic it is. The few counselors I did go and talk to, they asked me, were you in the raised in a single household? Yes. Was there ever a male figure? Yes, but he wasn't shit. Was there ever a time where he ever tried to raise you? No, because he didn't raise his own goddamn kids. Was there ever a time where you felt like your mom abandoned you? A whole plenty of times. Sometimes it's, it's going back to those simple things. When you start analyzing the people who you love the most or are supposed to love the most, where they treat you the worst, that's where it starts. Each of us have our own traumas that we're trying to work through. The best piece of advice I can give you, grace. Give yourself some grace. Forgive yourself every morning. Wake up. Hey, tell yourself. I, I tell myself every day, about at least 100 times a damn day, especially when I pass by that mayor, Bob, pass by and I wing. I, you look good, boy. You know what? You're doing good. I tell myself that every damn day. I try to tell, I, and I tell some of my other friends, Told a recent recently I told a very very dear friend. She she's 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 dear to my heart. She finds it hard to forgive herself for things that's going on, especially like a lot of the shadows that go on in her life. And I just tell her, you have to give yourself some grace. You have hope and love for everyone else, but you are not doing it for you. You're not everyone's goddamn mama. Stop stop trying to be. Stop acting like it. You have to do for you. Okay, none of us are perfect. None of us, none of us want to be broken, but we are. Heal yourself. That all that shit that you have for everyone else, the love, the tenderness, the grace. It's about time you be selfish with that shit and save it for yourself. Whether or not she takes my advice, that's upon her. But you know, I'm telling all the fellas right now, grace, grace, grace more grace you love yourself be gentle with yourself be the person that you should have had when you were growing up okay be that man be that male figure because a lot of us didn't have male figures in our lives a lot of us didn't have a man to help teach us to be a man okay and for a lot of us who grew up in Flagstaff you see what the hell our male figures were like (laughs) fuck you know (laughs) <laughs> oh boy it was it was bad and for those few who did have dads in their lives who took that shit for granted and they're still broken and they still continue, and they still want to blame shit hey you know what i wish i could have traded places with you boy for five seconds to hear some loving fatherly advice hey don't do this don't do that i had a few i had a few who i i i, I sit back and I meditate and I listen to the voices now. You know, they're dead, but I get to have a different spiritual relationship with them. Energy don't die. I can still feel their love and lately they have been pulling me through. Especially for those fellows who live here in Flagstaff, a certain name, Skeets. (laughs) He had his ways, but yeah, he loved us all and I hear his voice all the time. You know better than that. Come on, man. Don't do like me. So, Skeets, thank you, bro. Thank you. I really hope this helped. I do. I really hope this helped. If I blabbered about about different shit, I'm sorry. But it all ties together. Our trauma ties together. 
nothing is little, nothing is too big when it comes to our healing journey. Fellas, do the damn work. I got your back. I believe in you. For the few who reached out to me and asked me questions about all this, thank you. That just shows me you're ready. It's never too late. I know some people say, well, you're this age now. Fuck that as long as you're doing it, okay? Fucking do it. I'm proud of you. I really am. I'm proud of all of you. So say your prayers like you've been doing. Get the help like you've been doing. Sit at home when everyone else is going out to go have a good time so you can deal with your shit. It's okay as long as you're dealing with it. Trauma is no joke, man. Your mental health means everything, okay? Mental health is everything, especially in this day and age. Especially the black men and Mexican men and Native men. All men of color, please, 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 please. You're doing the right thing for yourself. It's not, you're not being weak. That it takes strength to deal with your weakness. And you're fucking doing it. And I am proud of you. Okay? I'm fucking proud of you. No one tells you. I'm fucking proud of you. I fucking love you. Do the damn work. Okay? Big Daddy got to sign off. Thank you for letting me have this time and space with you. I really appreciate it. And I'll be back soon. I, I'm going to get my ass up because I'm going on an adventure today. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sedona calls, y'all. Sedona fucking calls. It's warm. Got to get that out there and do it. I need that for my mental health. It's all good. Peace.